G'day guys, Chewy here from Crash Course Gaming and welcome to another episode of Heroes of the Storm. And tonight, our hero spotlight is Nova, the ranged assassin class from the popular StarCraft series. What Nova is, is basically as it says, a ranged assassin. What makes her a little bit different to other characters is her trait skill, and her trait skill is Permanent Cloak. That's right, she's permanently cloaked whilst not attacking or taking any damage at all. Um, this is on a short cooldown timer, so you can easily shift in and out of cloaks, and whilst being cloaked, you cannot be targeted by enemy structures. So you can literally backdoor walk into bases and snipe off that last kill. But just remember, once you do take damage, you will not be able to um, gain your cloak back after a certain amount of time. Skill sets that come along with Nova include Snipe, which allows you to fire a shot doing a large damage to the first enemy it hits, Pinning Shot, which is sort of like your slow and also a damaged enemy, and also Hollow Decoy, which is sort of like your ability to use for your escape. But without further ado or breaking it down, we're going to get straight into a match and we're going to look at what sort of talents we can build, uh, build and use sort of a, a ranged assassin but might turn it into a short cloak ganking machine. Watch now as we throw this into action. All right, mate. Let's kick it off. Uh, I think we're going to go. I think we're going to go bot lane for this video. Um, okay, as I said, the abilities are as follows: snipe. It's it's got a range on it. Um, this is probably one of your primary damage abilities. The second is pinning shot, which is sort of like your slow and also deals extra damage as well. And then you've got your decoy. If you cast your decoy, it's sort of a distraction point for the enemy. And it's a great way to escape out of team fights and also throw out some diversions. As for the build that we're going to go for today, the build that we're going to really focus on is burst damage. And to really get that going, we want to learn our ambush snipe, which basically means to do an extra 20% damage on snipe when we do it out of coming out of cloak. As I've said, no stress at all. I'm cloaked. I can actually walk straight up to these towers without any problem whatsoever. The second I do attack, however, that does leave me open for damage. And of course, yeah, I think so, yeah. We're going to go for, for um, first blood bottom. We should probably go for Tyrande. And I'm going to start it off, maybe with a hit. Oh, <laughs> how could I have done that? That was so me. That was, um, that was dumb. I should have waited for the hook. That was just silly of me. Absolutely silly. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why I did that. I, don't, I, don't, I really don't. Um, obviously, whilst you're on your, your horse as well, that, that remains stealth along with yourself. So <clears throat> you can always tell that you're in the stealths because you sort of got that blue outline around your character. Bit of a giveaway. I might just, I might just pop in for the damage here. There we go. Again, you just want to get out of that damage uh, timer so that way you can get your cloak in again. And I'm just gonna, I'm definitely gonna go for that. I'm definitely gonna go for the cloak. Probably playing a little bit defensive. There we go. Go in here, cloak it up. It's alright. Muradin can keep pushing. He's fine. He's fine. Probably, probably should get a gank on him. So Rondo's going for the push, might come in from behind. Oh, get the globe. Oh, terrible fail. Yep, we got her. There we go. I'm going to go in the mine and start cleaning up some of these creeps. Okay, so the next part of the build that we're going to go for is, there's a few options here you can do, a few options you can do. Um, personally, I, I really want to. I really want to get that burst damage done. So I probably want to increase my in focused attack. So what that means is, after 10 seconds, or by so many auto attacks, that first basic attack I do does all that damage. And there we go. Should be able to get him. Oh wow, we missed him. But and while you're cloaked, you can you can drop your decoy to distract them. You don't have to. Um, probably the worst hero to get hit by because of his bloody skill that does a dot. 
Another great thing about being cloaked, you can you can run around in circles here and start stealing some of the skulls. So while the enemy think they've got a good opportunity to to gank this bad boy, you can just steal all them skulls. There we go. That easy. He's dead. Now there was another one. Here we go. Wait for him to. Boom. There we go. That easy. Again? Oh, yep, we can get the stitches. There we go. As long as I can keep that stitches away gonna be able to be able to take care of him quite well. Perfect. There we go. Took control of the situation. Perfect. And there goes our golem. Nazebo's down. Again that, that that decoy really doesn't do much damage. It's not really a, you can get skills to increase the damage of the decoy but but honestly I really just want to keep keep building on that that damage I do when I pop out of stealth so right now the stack is 20% damage whilst cloaked with the ambush then afterwards whenever I use an ability my next basic attack is empowered I'll give you a demonstration of that as well plus even though it's empowered I've still got that focus shot ready for the next one so we should be able to get a pretty good should be able to take him out actually oh damn Raynor's here Again, the the doctor's probably the worst one to come against because his his skill that he puts on you is sort of a dot. So obviously you're not going to be able to pop back into stealth with with that dot constantly happening. I'll just see if I can auto attack him down. Just keep the damage on him. Just want to get that golem down. I don't want to lose any part of this base. Mm, I probably should help the team, but I might just keep this going. I've gone this far, why not? Get that cloak damage in there. Come on, guys. Let's get him, get him, get him. Perfect. There we go. Alright, we really need to get these mercenary camps. Alright, the next part of the build that we're going to go for is... Triple Tap really is the, the one to go for in terms of you want to get that kill as they're escaping, but honestly, overall damage, it's really good to have an AoE with this character just for the team fight. So, yes, I am about the burst damage and maximum value from that, but it doesn't hurt to, to be able to have that one skill to really assist your team. You know, why, why do 780 damage or 800 damage to one target when you can do 650 over three? Again, preference is over you. Um, if you went the other way, the, the advantage of that is when you do get those surprise attacks, you definitely got that kill locked in. But we'll probably got this kill locked in here anyway. I've just got to come into place. There we go. That's what I prefer. Obviously, you can tailor it to how... Your gameplay works for you, but we we probably should get get this mercenary camp while we can. Oh, there we go. Good old Diablo, tanking away for the team. Nice, nice, perfect. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in for him. I, I, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how the burst applies. For a bit of a high risk move coming in for this one, but ah, 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 all right. Executing. That's it. I'm, I've got to get her. Hopefully, she just grabs the, the healing fountain and, and then. Oh shit. That was a bad move. Come on, run, 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 run. There we go, there we go. Stitches is down. Perfect. 
Awesome. That was cool. Okay, the mines are getting ready, so that means I'm going to get in position and to take out some of those mines. I'll let the team know. Uh, again, once you've already cracked these mines, um, if, if the team's got a pretty good push going, see if you can get yourself in these positions here. It really does help grabbing these camps because they have a little bit extra skulls than the other ones. So Any extra advantage on this that you can get is the best. Not the best class to be doing this with, but we'll just get through them. Alright, for the next talent ability, um, it, it really is much of a muchness. I prefer the, the health regen and the distance, uh, sorry, and the movement speed increase. So it, it really does help when you're trying to follow up for those gowns just to, to be able to have that increase. Not only just movement speed, but also that regen whilst running around. And we do have we do have one of them in place, so I'm just going to keep an eye on them and see who we got up here. So there's, there's, there's a few in here by the looks of it. Oh. There we go. Yeah, and that one's down. That's how we do it. We really need to go over here though. Come on. Come on. Maybe I can... No, here they are. All right. There we go, and the stun. Come on. Come on, this doctor, where is she? Oh, there's Nazebo. He's running. They got him, they got him, they got him. Oh, come on, let me just get it. <laughs> oh, that was, a, that was a silly move, I missed that. That was a bad play. But uh, I hope you're sort of enjoying what, what you're seeing with this character. It really is, it really is just, really is just quite fun being able to slam them for so much damage. It, you really want to be tactical with your, with her if you can, just sort of getting in there, getting the burst and heading out. Hopefully we should be able to take on Reyna one on one. If I can get a good sneak, oh well, it doesn't matter anyway. We get, come on, get him. Oh, look at that. There we go. There we go. Oh, golems of similar strength. There we go. Oh, come on. Get the hook, get the hook, buddy. Come on, hook them. There we go. Man, so we'll just sit here and order the towers down. A little bit of lag there, a little bit of lag. That other golem is being touched up by Diablo, that's fine. Okay. And I think for the next one, we'll probably go the crippling shot increases damage if affected. There we go, that's one down. Let's pick them off. Oh, I just missed the mark there completely. And that's it. We did it again. Uh, not bad. 12 minute match in considering. Should be able to get the damage off on that. Oh, God, I just, I just seem to be missing this night. I don't, it's just not happening for me. <laughs> the main premise of the build is just not happening. Oh, come on, come on. Do the dodge, do the dodge. <laughs> well, another great game, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, um, the commentary. Uh, please by all means subscribe, drop me a line, let me know if there's any other characters you want to see. Um, great, thanks all.